the release of Street Fighter 5 gameplay and trailer, I have some good news and bad news. Let's start off with the good news. Gameplay looks improved and a lot of new and returning moves like parrying and activations will be returning into the game. Characters look slimmer and cleaner than previous versions, like the chunkiness of Ryu's muscles and the man hands of, well, Chung Li. Ink blots and elements are also frequent in the special move department. You'll see things like lightning bolts, blue and black ink blots featured in the gameplay trailer, which look and feel kind of visceral and stylistic. We might also have crossplay between the PS4 and the PC versions of the game. So, not all of us are out of the loop. So get your USB Xbox 360 controllers ready and hold on because it's going to be a long ride. Now, time for some bad news. Most likely this will only be a PS4 title since Sony chipped in most of the finance for the development. But here's hoping for PC is still in the mix and maybe Xbox? Who knows, right? This is likely going to be a trend in the industry, timed exclusive or full exclusive of the games that used to be multi-platform to boost console sales, even though both Xbox One and PS4 are pretty much useless nowadays. And for the last bit of bad news, don't try to upload the gameplay trailer or you might end up with a copyright strike. I mean, Capcom is trying really hard to keep this game under wraps. And don't get hit up like Angry Joe did. Yeah, we all saw the angry rant. The struggle is too real. Alright, well, this is Jordan from Alter Element Games with the latest in Street Fighter news. Well, this tiny tidbit. I'll see you guys later. Till next time. Cafe LA, peace and love. I'm out of here. Alter Element Games, where gameplay is everything.